Okay, Pat's people, I have finally done it. I have figured out the solution to all of the Patriots' problems. That's right. I hold the master plan for bringing awesomeness, greatness. I can help make Foxborough great again, and all you have to do is enjoy today's tip. Today in Patriots for Monday, March 18th, 2024 with your old pal Fitzy. Live from the barrage, gentle reminder once again, sponsors welcome. You could have your beverages or products featured right here on the old bar. I'll happily wear whatever you need. Hey, if you want to, we can do it cameo style. I'll read an in-video ad or do a shout out, a salute, best wishes, bad jokes, whatever it is that makes you happy. You can always slide into those DMs or shoot me an email, townynews at gmail.com. All right, let's get down to task bracks, everybody. So another frustrating weekend in Foxborough free agency. Obviously last week, Patriots miss out on wide receiver uh, Keenan Allen. He goes to Chicago, 106 miles, half, uh, half a tank of gas, full pack of cigarettes, that whole thing. God, I love the Blues Brothers. And why does this Patriots offseason feel like a 57-car police crash? Anyway, then over the weekend, we find out that the Patriots let one of my top free agency targets, left tackle Tyron Smith out of Dallas, go to the freaking New York Jets. Now, I understand they're much more in win-now mode because future Vice President Aaron Rodgers has maybe one but two years left coming off the Achilles uh, repair surgery and all, all of his magic ayahuasca voodoo nonsense, right? Uh, this guy, like, they signed him to, like, a $6.5 million deal. It's not even that much money. The Patriots still don't have a left tackle heading into the uh, the season. I, yeah, I know the draft is coming up, blah, 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 but, like, it's not that much money when you got some cash to burn and, you know, that you want to weaponize the offense. You know, I, I'm, get, I'm cutting all the slack I can to the Wolf of Ball Street, and, and don't hold the mayo and everybody else. But, like, it's, it's getting a little frustrating, guys. And here's the thing. In order to get people to come play for the Patriots now, there is no more, got to go play for the greatest coach of all time. We don't even know what kind of coach Mayo's going to be. There is no more, let me go win a ring up there with touchdown Tommy, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. All those allures, all those attractions, all those reasons to come in and take team-friendly one-year deals or get traded to the Pats and all that jazz, those are gone now. They are in the freaking rear view, as is people complaining, hopefully, about the Dynasty miniseries. Everything dynastic is now back there, and we are looking <laughs> this way right now. And when I look this way, you know what I see? I don't see a lot of talent, or at least I don't see a lot of stars. Like, there's plenty, there's plenty of talent on this team. They signed wide receiver K.J. Osborne over, this, uh, the, over the weekend from Minnesota. Like, he's a solid number three wide receiver. Also seems like a great guy. Once pulled someone from a, a burning car. So uh, shout out to K.J. Osborne. We like having the good guys up there in the gridiron of Foxborough at Gillette. But, I mean, a wide receiving core full of a bunch of number threes is not going to get it done. Uh, they, the, the Pats need something flashy. And I know with this number three pick, you know, maybe Minnesota would want to trade up for it. Who knows? Here's the thing. You can get your quarterback, and it's going to be a total crapshoot, and it's likely going to be Drake May between he and Jaden Daniels. We've gone over this a million times, right? All right, maybe he pans out. Great. And then maybe you get a ride receiver later on, or you get a tackle, and they're good. That's great. And so the Patriots go from meh to okay, all right, and then maybe eventually they go from like okay to oh, pretty good, you know, and then eventually, hopefully, like they're good. But that's going to take a long time, right? There's still no pizzazz, no whoa, no star power, no that guy, no him, no him Jong-un, no Himothy Chalamet, no Himothy Dalton, uh, you know, snap into a him gym. No, none of that, all right? We, we need, I'll do that all day if I need to, just to get the Patriots to listen and do what old Uncle Fitzy has come up with here. All right, so here's the thing. The kids all want to see a star. The kid, they want to buy the cards. They want the jersey. They want, they want to talk about the fact that that guy's on their team, right? That guy, that dude, him. That someone that the opposing defensive coordinators have to lose sleep over game planning for. Something to get people excited about. Jerseys flying off the shelf in the pro shop. People blogging and clicking and retwixing and everything all over the socials, right? So here's the thing. If you take that quarterback, it might be him. Or he could sit for a year or two. And then it's still just like, all right, the process is underway. And I keep getting told to trust the process. And the process is pretty effing boring. I know. I mean, it's, it's, we're talking not just like a, like a live-in reno here. We're talking like a gut reno, if not a borderline total rebuild. 
and hopefully the, the Kendrick Bournes and the Pop Douglases and the Antonio Gibson and the Mondres and everyone else and the Hunter Henrys can hold down the fort and make it interesting-ish, but like, ugh, it. All right, so here it is. Don't trade the number three draft pick. Here's my new plan. I am sticking to this plan. This is my master plan for getting the Pats back on track and bringing star power back to Foxborough. The number three overall pick in the 2024 draft, the New England Patriots select Maserati Marv himself, Marvin Harrison Jr. out of the Ohio State University. All right, now we've got a stud, a certified bonafide, he's bonafide, daddy, a certified bonafide stud, a star. People are saying this guy is the best wide receiver prospect to come into the NFL in years, if not decades. I don't know if he's gonna be like a combination of Megatron and prime Randy Moss. It may just be his own thing, whatever. He could be, you know, a little Justin Jefferson with a splash of DK Metcalf, whatever. Maybe he's as great as his dad, just bigger and maybe a little less off field cuckoo, but like awesome. All right, so now we've got a stud, someone you're gonna wanna actually watch that you can't wait to see in preseason. Gotta go watch these games. This guy might go off for 13 catches for 200 yards and a touchdown. Jacoby Brissett, Maybe he sees him step out on the field and he's like, holy shit, I got Maserati Marv to throw to now? With all due respect to uh, KJ Ozzy Osbourne and, uh, you know, Pop Douglas and Kendrick Bourne again and everybody else who I love dearly and Tyquan Thornton who's been, you know, eating his Wheaties and doing a lot of chin-ups this offseason. Now I got a stud. I got a star. Some of the people want I got to, I got to out my game. Now I'm going to try to, my hardest to turn into 1998 Randall Cunningham with Minnesota because maybe this kid is it. Awesome. Great. Who knows? It could, and it could be a disaster. It could be an, uh, a bed shitting of epic proportions, but probably not. And I know like other teams like, great, grab the wide receiver first. That's awesome. What about the tackle? Who's going to block for the quarterback? Who's going to throw him the ball after next season and or possibly this season? Here's what you do. I don't see as much difference. I've, I'm not just talking because I'm used to the Patriots doing discount shopping or because I like these other guys better. I, I'm not saying take Bo Nix. I like Bo Nix. I know a lot of people tell me that I'm taking crazy bills, crazy pills with bananas and a side with the dum dum sauce poured all over top. Go watch his Auburn tape, whatever. Fine. To each his own. For me, I take a chance and I either A, trade back into the first round or I hope maybe he gets to 34. I don't want to just take a flyer on one of these other wide receivers. I'm getting Maserati Marv, and then I am drafting Michael Penix out of Washington. I'm probably going to actually burn a pick later on or maybe next year's second or third. Get back into the first round, and I'm going to get five years of control with Michael Penix. I'll go, oh, he's got, oh but what about the bad knees, dude? Yeah, he, you know, he doesn't move as well as ever. He's got a great mentor waiting for him right there in Jacoby Brissett, number one. And number two, you guys probably saw some of those games between Oregon and Washington. And if you don't, I got this great website, just launched a boutique site uh, called youtube.com. Go there and watch Michael Penix highlights. Yes, I understand Michigan squashed and suppressed and put him under great duress in the National Football College Championship trophy game thing that they played. All right, but the guy can flat out ball out. He has a gun for an arm. It is effortless the way he throws the ball. And if by season's end, he either gets in due to injuries for Jacoby Brissett, maybe the Pats are two and whatever, and it's just time to hang him high, let him fly, and see if he is possibly the guy. Put him in, see what happens. And if it doesn't work out, you know what? You go back into the quarterback market via free agency next year, see if someone else comes in the draft. Hell, I don't give a shit. It's not my money, not my draft picks. Take two quarterbacks this year. Take Penix, trading back into the first, and grab someone later on in the fourth, the fifth, sixth, and see how they develop. Throw in the old zapper as well, and then just, you know, go at it Hunger Games style. Have a little battle royale, see who wins the gig. Then you get a tackle later on, someone you can develop at left tackle. Uh, I don't know who's going to play now, if it's the Accor for a guy or someone else. We'll see because Mike Owen is going to play right tackle, or so we've been told. The Pats have, it's been made known that the Patriots don't want to move out of number three. All right, they're impressed with Drake May. He really might be good. I'm telling you, to get people to want to come back, make sure they pay the highest ticket prices. You know, uh, make sure, hey, oh, awesome, we got the, the fancy bar in the end zone. Oh, I can be on the world's biggest single panel flat screen TV, just like that jackass who does the pregame stuff, Fitzy. Awesome. These aren't reasons for people to come to the stadium, but people are going to want to come and see 
Marvin Harrison Jr. play. And if Michael Penix works out, then you have a guy with an absolute howitzer for an arm who can throw the ball through the howling winds of Gillette and across the sideways rain of a New England autumn and through the snow of a New England winter. And it may just work out, especially if he has a guy who might legitimately be the best wide receiver in the NFL coming up. So that's my plan. Long way to get there, but you guys have heard it here and I am sticking to it. I'll say it on the Six Rings podcast. I'll say it when I'm on the radio. I'll say it here again. You guys will troll me ad nauseum for it. And because I am not concerned and I am fearless about being the lone resident of unpopular Take Island, it's fine. If anyone would like to join me there, you are welcome. Maserati Marvin 3, trade back in, get Michael Penix, then get your tackles and your other supporting players. Let's make this fun because it'll either be a beautiful disaster or it'll be a fucking show. And I can't wait. So there you go. All right, once again, if you want to have me put something on my shirt, say something in the video. We post these on the gram, on the TikTok, on the Facebook, on the YouTubes. We are talking tens of hundreds, no, legitimately thousands, if not tens of thousands of more impressions if you would like to be a part of Tip Today and Patriots and all the other stuff on our socials. All right, enjoy the rest of your Monday. We'll be back at you tomorrow with another big, bold, meaty tip for you guys to enjoy out there in Pat's Nation. For your old pal Fitzy, that's me, and everyone here at the old Barrage, good day, God bless, we'll talk to you soon, F them all, and go Pats. Marv and Penix, let's do this.